And we are underway with the Blazers winning the tip. In the first quarter brought to you by First Tech Credit Union as the Blazers have the first possession of the game tonight. In his uh, press conference earlier, which we showed uh, a few minutes ago, Cam Reddish has a lot of skill. Speaking of skill. Bank steps out on him, finds Gildas Alexander. Crossover, spin into the paint, scoops underneath, lost it, knocked away, gets it back, and he is fouled on his way up. That's one thing that works. He is still so difficult to stop. He takes a ton of free throws, more than 10 a game. One thing he doesn't do very much is, is shoot threes, and I'm not sure if you saw this number, Lamar, that if he keeps at this pace, second free throw is in. Surveys the floor on the wing. Gives it up to Simons. He penetrates and kicks to Reddish. His three is rejected by Gildas Alexander as he tiptoes the baseline. Ran on the baseline working against Williams. Oh, he oh, is. Oh. No, no foul call. Chauncey wanted it. Gildas Alexander comes back the other way and gets the dunk. The Blazers lead trim to one. Joe was uh, really straightforward in a lot of his comments earlier in saying, hey, I was disappointed by some things too like I, I wanted to take big swings and we want to do it at the right time yeah of, of high influence and uh, leadership you got to be responsible with information you have uh, in pursuit of trying to get some stuff accomplished and Oklahoma City's going to be busy taking it away game's got 13 he's hit everything he's taken here is a three point from Gildas Alexander and Jabari Walker is there for the rebound Matisse Thibel, the number three rated pick and roll defender in the league. It goes without saying, he, he just shuts down those those types of actions. It's something the Blazers desperately want me to heard Joe Cronin talk about today. And this change of scenery just changes your game a little bit. Yeah. You know, people are waiting to see him shoot the ball better. I don't know, he might do it here. I, we, we don't know. The QR code or head to trailblazers.com slash contests and log in or register to enter for your chance to win this month's prize. The Blazers have a number of players who played in NCAA championship games, including some guys who are not new to the team. His his footing firm. It's not like he can't dunk that. See, this is what gives Alexander does. He bumps you and then he'll change pace. And he's only played about two and a half, three minutes so far. Gildas Alexander to the rim. He's fouled and count that one. He's got 18. Made field goal attempts at the rim. Oklahoma City has 11. Difference being, Portland's only taken 10 attempts. Dave now gets the screen as Gildas Alexander switches. He drives. He's fouled. It is no good. They're quick. They're typically the right ones. And he has great size for that position. We can't have people making it a contest now, seeing all the different animals they can take a picture next to. Oh, quick two. Eight of eight from the free throw line. He hits them both. And the kind of pieces that they wanted, they, they had to let go of them. There's a steal as Dame tried to get it over SPA. And the Thunder with a two-point lead trying to add to it. Going along the baseline. There's a quick inbound if the Thunder want to get out and run. There's a strip and a steal. Jeremy has it knocked out of his hands. Watford's got it. Here's Giddy bringing it up for Oklahoma City. He had three fouls in the first half. Gildas Alexander goes right to the rim. No good. Great defense by Spins to the elbow. Out of the corner for Reddish. A three on the way is short. Eubanks tips it, but it's going to get into the hands of Giddy. Like Drew was going to a dribble handoff. SGA bounces off of Grant and throws it away. So it could have been an offensive foul. Either way, ball don't lie as he throws it away. Jeremy's cut off. Now he circles around. No whistle again as Jeremy hits the deck one more time. Now Gilgis Alexander gets the finger roll on the other end. He's got 26. So difficult for teams to know what to do against Dame in that horn set as Gilgis Alexander turns it over. Ball's just not going in for him. Dame from way downtown in and out. Rebound went through the hands of Eubanks, and the Thunder will take it back. You can see that last time the defense made the adjustment. They laid back with the big and opened up that shot for Dame. And boys, the pace picked up. Shea up ahead to Giddy. He's got a layup plus the foul. Back and forth we go here at the Mona Center in Portland. We're seeing Jeremy Grant on him now, and he's going to see some bigger bodies the rest of the way. That's really been OKC's only way to generate offense, as Shea also does it on the defensive end there, as we see as well. 
He checked off of that, looked to the left a little bit, went back to the look to Jeremy, and then made the pass. At the elbow, Gildas Alexander slips through, lays it in. Game's first three of the half. Gildas Alexander drives to the rim, switches to the left, and banks it in. 23rd time this year, Dame has 30. Here's Williams, and he's able to double pump past Eubanks. Gildas Alexander into the paint. Gets past Simons, he is fouled. Does not get the shot to fall. He's got the second most 30-point game of the season, 33. Including tonight. Both free throws are good. It's and uh, he balances himself. Now look at this here defensively. Coach Billups switching some things up. Firing a bit of a trap. That's a good pass. Joe hits the three. You can't leave him open like that. That's good Oklahoma City defense, and Nasir wasn't able to recognize it in time to make a change. There's a foul on the drive for Gildas Alexander. Now he's got 36. Seven minutes to play. One point Blazers lead. Gildas Alexander has it knocked free, stolen. Here's Sharp in the front court. I mean, this feels like one of those games where both coaches will be using it with it this tight. You got to hold on to it right now. The free throw from Gildas Alexander. There's some help that comes into play, and then that gives Dort some time to catch back up. And here's the fadeaway from Gildas Alexander. No good. Wiggins somehow gets the offensive rebound from the four Blazers and puts it in. Thunder holding on to that three-point lead with under five and a half to play. What a move by Gildas Alexander. Johnson Billups is going to take time out. Here they are in the man-to-man. -man. That's a tough play. Joe's three-pointer is good. Yep, they use him as a screener, and then he's able to vacate that area. Gildas Alexander slows the pace, then he takes off, drive, splits, goes up and under. No, he finds Jordan, dunks it in. Got to keep an eye on Isaiah, or I'm sorry, Joe's out of the game. The other shooters, Williams, or Gildas Alexander for starters. Simons crosses over, loose it, gets it back, nearly had it stripped away, throws it into traffic, and there's another turnover. The bounce pass to Williams, and he dunks it in and gets a foul. Thunder lead by 12. Keon's last game was January 28th against the Raptors. And a foul was called on. Thunder finishing up a three-game road trip as the first free throw is good. The tiebreaker the Blazers have lost to a Western Conference team. Free throw is Feels in. Feels like it. Tied um, with Dallas. Trey Mann's going to dribble this one out. And that'll do it.